Good evening, Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com, with the latest on Tropical Storm Cindy hot off the press here, the 10 p.m. Central Time Advisory Package. Pressure now down to 992 millibars, so technically it's still strengthening from a pressure perspective, but as I'm going to show you, it is still what we call convectively challenged. The deep thunderstorms are still not able to hang on. Winds are still 50 miles per hour. They're going to get gusty especially inside those thunderstorms, as we've talked about for quite a while. Let's see if the map is updated with the latest info. Uh, sometimes the public advisory comes out. This is old, so we'll refresh this in a minute. We'll come back to it. Looking at the colorized infrared, and this is what I wanted to show you. The center of circulation, it's real easy to pick it out, sitting right in here somewhere, the geographic center of the storm, and the deeper thunderstorms are now all up over eastern Texas. Houston is over this way, so really no major worries for the Houston metro area concerning any significant rainfall. Maybe a couple of inches here and there, spotty locations, but not enough to really cause any tra travel problems tonight or tomorrow. However, up here along the I-10 corridor in southwest Louisiana, and uh, you're talking about going through Lake Charles, and then into Texas, uh, Orange and Port Arthur, Beaumont, those areas, uh, some periods of very heavy rain possible. But then the good news, once you get over into the coast of Louisiana and areas inland, all of the heaviest precipitation, even over to Alabama, has now curled up and lifted off to the north and east. So maybe that'll be the end of it, but you never know. You, you see this little band right here trying to maybe get going and pinwheel its way in uh, as the whole system moves northwest. Uh, Going to make landfall sometime tomorrow. The center will, but you know, again, that's really not going to matter much. It'll be interesting if you're underneath it. Maybe look up and see the curvature of the circulation center. Kind of uh, rare to be able to do that without being in the eye of a dangerous hurricane. So here we have the radar animation, and this is out of the Houston Galveston Weather Service office. And there it is. You can see the outline of Houston. It looks like a big bullseye with the concentric beltways there. Very easy to pick out. And this rain shield looks menacing. And even if it makes it over, uh, these convective processes, the showers and thunderstorms, as I showed you, they're going to be diminishing. So even if this makes it into greater Houston, this rainfall is really nothing to worry about. The, the heavier stuff's over here. And this probably isn't going to make it. I'd say there's a good 80% chance that you won't even notice it if you go to bed and sleep sound. Uh, I don't think you'll have any problems when you get up tomorrow. Uh, you never say never, but the odds are overwhelmingly against any major issues. Looking at the radar farther to the east, again, for areas, you talk about Mobile, Alabama, and then the I-10 corridor here stretching out of Florida across the region into Mississippi. A little band of rain moving up here towards Biloxi, but this is much more tame than what we have seen in recent hours and in, in the past couple of days, too. Uh, let's go over to the east just a little bit more to the radar. That one's Mobile. This one's out of Tallahassee. And even over here, we can see some remnants of these rain bands coming in. Luckily, things are starting to calm down from this perspective. If we go back to the satellite picture, you can see that even over the Gulf of Mexico here, these rain bands are starting to weaken. See how those colors disappear? They just kind of go away, and that is a sign of weakening thunderstorm activity, uh, which is good, because, boy, there's been plenty of rain, and you don't really need any more. So let's see if we have a new track map from the National Hurricane Center on Cindy. I'm going to refresh this page. This is just coming out literally as I record this, so bear with me. I want to make sure we have the very latest information. And if we click on the map again, is it updated to the 11 o'clock? Nope, still the 7. But you know what? It really doesn't matter. The overall philosophy of the track for the next few days hasn't changed much. Into southwest Louisiana, up the Sabine River, and then finally as a depression remnant low, up through Arkansas, Tennessee. And then this will eventually move out over the Atlantic up here. And this will still be a trackable weather feature, and it will bring some heavy rainfall across this swath in the cone of uncertainty, as we call it, or the error cone. Uh, and, you know, it'll be a soggy go of it as this passes through a good deal of the eastern third of the United States. Uh, maybe even the eastern two-thirds, southeast third, whatever. You get the idea. 
Uh, once it moves inland, of course, it'll really start to fill the pressure center and it won't be uh, of any concern other than a rainmaker and at times heavy depending on where you are and I'm going to talk about that more tomorrow in the update in the morning where we can look at the severe potential from the storm prediction center I mentioned this earlier as well as the weather prediction center it used to be called the hydrometeorological prediction center but who wanted to say that it's easier to say weather prediction center I guess and they do the hydrologic outlooks the flood potential and I want to make sure I address that. All right. So even though it's not a big news-making hurricane and everybody's talking about it, it matters. And so I want to make sure we talk about this even after it makes landfall because there will still be impacts. All righty? All righty. Well, that is it for me for tonight. Hopefully I can get a lot more sleep than I did last night. For everybody that's been watching on YouTube, especially a new venture for us over the last year or so, really getting involved with YouTube more, I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate everybody tuning in no matter how they come across these videos or where they're watching it via our app on YouTube or a shared post somewhere embedded on a, a Facebook page. It doesn't matter. It means a lot to me. So thank you. Have a great rest of your night. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.